refilming the intro because somehow the other one got deleted. Um, but in this video, we're going to head to the gym and I'm going to tell you guys how to come up with your own workout, some tips and tricks that I use so that when I walk into the gym, I might not know exactly what I'm doing, but I can make a workout for myself to do depending on what I want to train. Let's get into it and head to the gym. All right, so my first tip is to know what muscles you have on your body. Should seem pretty easy, but there are a lot. In your arm, for example, you have the front delt, side delt, and rear delt. When I go like this, you can see one, two, three. You have your bicep, your tricep, and that's it for your arm. Then you have your chest muscles, your abs, and your back. You have your traps, your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, and your calves. And sometimes within those muscles, they can be broken down into specific sections that you can also do exercises to specifically target. So I would also recommend definitely trying to work out each muscle two times a week. I use a PPL, which is a type of workout split of push-pull legs. So on push day, you're doing your chest, shoulders, and triceps. On pull day, back and biceps. And leg day is just your full legs. My next tip is something that I actually wasn't doing until recently, and that is incorporating the three major lift movements, squat, deadlift, and bench press into your weekly workouts. That's how you're gonna get stronger, and that's how you're gonna progress in the gym. Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back, stay thin like a matchstick. We ain't coming back, I swear. Just let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen. They got is a quick change, so we like them in face. I'll just buy the new watch, time to make my wrist ring. The zero gravity keeps elevating me. Last advice for you guys is to know what movements target what muscles. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. 90 degrees to straight in any sort of way is just gonna target your legs. It's kind of hard to describe, but more easily the upper body, anything pushing down and contracting and straightening your elbow, probably your triceps anything bringing the weight toward you, probably your biceps. When you pull down, it's gonna be your lats. When you row toward you, probably your back again. Um, chest, anything pushing away from you is going to be chest. For shoulders, anything like where you're pulling up at your shoulder is a hinge and like everything else is still probably your shoulders. That's kind of an easier way to think about it. So when you see a machine and you can notice which direction uh, the parts of it are moving, then you can kind of determine what your muscles are going to be doing and which ones are going to be trained. I hope that made sense to you guys. It made sense in my mind but sometimes I know that doesn't translate. <laughs> I think more than anything else, just start watching and observing what people are doing in the gym. You could honestly go sit and as you're warming up, look at what people are doing. And then once you understand the movements and the parts of your body that you can train, then you'll kind of get an understanding of what that person is using the machine for. I hope that was helpful. I would say before going to the gym and putting to work, any of the tips that I just said, try to write out a workout plan or like look something up online or on the internet. And it's going to be easier to just see those exercises if you look up a back day workout. Then you kind of know all the exercises you could do for your back. Um, another helpful tip, if you're using machines, they often have like a body and then a highlighted muscle group on there and it'll show you exactly what should be getting worked in that exercise. And then an overall tip, I know I'm just so full of advice today, but whenever you're doing an exercise, say you go on a machine and it's for your biceps, if you don't feel it in your biceps, chances are you're doing it wrong. 
So always try to feel it and try to contract the muscle that's supposed to be getting work. Also for rep ranges, I would say usually I stick to like eight reps, four sets or 12, 10 to 12 reps for three sets. Really depends on um, what your goals are starting out and what you're kind of trying to do. So I have to go finish with this deadly leg workout, but I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below or DM me on Instagram be more than happy to help. I'm sure I'm going to think of some other tips to tell you guys, um, but we'll have to save it for the next video because that's all I can think of right now. I'll see y'all later. Bye. I've been